Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do another proof problem that you would see in a linear algebra class. This particular problem says let A be an, I don't know how you pronounce that, idempotent, idempotent, n by n matrix, prove that 0 and 1 are the only possible eigenvalues of A. When I first read this problem, I didn't immediately think that was an obvious conclusion to draw, but it is a pretty straightforward proof. I think this will be a short video. so. Uh, let's go ahead and write out the things that were given as assumptions. So we can say uh, by assumption, A is an idempotent n by n matrix. We know that, and the definition of that is basically that if you multiply A by A, you still get A. So we can say, therefore, A squared equals A. Now suppose lambda is an eigenvalue of A, which we know the matrix A is going to have an eigenvalue. We have to basically, it's asking us already to prove that the eigenvalues are 0 or 1. Then there exists a non-zero non vector V such that A lambda equals sorry, AV equals lambda V. So this is one of the most basic definitions of matrices when you're, it's kind of like the first thing you learn when you're learning about eigenvalues and eigenvectors, that that's the definition of what it means to have an eigenvector or to have an eigenvalue. So we can try to use this equation because we know we're going to try to solve for lambda. Another equation I thought of was the uh, finding the determinant and that also involves finding lambda, but this is a more straightforward way of solving this proof. So, okay, we have that. Well, we know that a squared equals a, so one thing we can do is multiply both sides by a since it's an n by n matrix you can do that and you're gonna get a squared on one side so let's go ahead and multiply a on both sides just to see what we get so that equals a squared v equal to a lambda v and then we're just gonna play around with this to get just eigenvalues so just lambda so we know that a v equals lambda v so we have a v V here, we can pull the eigenvalue out because that's just a scalar, so we can say that's equal to lambda AV, put parentheses around that, then we know that A squared V is equal to lambda, and then this is equal to lambda V, so we have lambda times lambda V. So we successfully got just lambda squared V on the right hand side. We still have A squared V on the left hand side, so A squared V is equivalent to AV, we know that, which is equal to lambda V, which is equal to lambda squared V. And we can say that because of the property that A is idempotent, so we can write that on the side if that's necessary. Then if we use this as the left hand side and this as the right hand side, we have an equation that we can solve. So we'll have lambda v equal to lambda squared v. Then we can move that all to one side. So we have 0 equal to lambda squared v minus lambda v. And if we pull out the eigenvector will have lambda squared minus lambda equals to zero. Since by definition we said at the top that the eigenvalue cannot be zero by definition, since v is non-zero by definition, therefore we have zero is equal to lambda squared minus lambda. If we pull out a lambda, we get lambda times lambda minus one equal to zero. And finally, with this last line, we're able to conclude that either the eigenvalue is zero or the eigenvalue is one. And that's enough for our proof. So it wasn't a very difficult proof. You basically just had to remember the simple definition of what it means to have an eigenvalue and an eigenvector for a matrix. And you had to know what idempotent meant. But besides that, it was pretty straightforward.